Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Today we're actually gonna be in Omaha, Nebraska for an all-you-can-eat fried chicken. Yes, so we're going to a very popular chain in the Midwest called Pizza Ranch. So Pizza Ranch is basically, well, it's a pizza buffet, but the, it is mainly like pizza and fried chicken. So I'm gonna go specialize and basically just eat straight fried chicken. Maybe we'll try some pizza. But I love fried chicken, So and I've never been there before. I've heard people be like, meh, it's mixed things about Pizza Ranch. So if you've ever been to Pizza Ranch, comment down below, let me know what you think of it. I'm gonna go find out. But it's about $15 at dinner time. All you can eat fried chicken. Um, by the time we get there, we're gonna have maybe about an hour of eating left. Uh, but anyway, let's go as fun as eats food. Uh, we'll eat lots of fried chicken. I'm pumped. And uh, let's go. Pizza Ranch. Hey everyone, real quick, I wanna thank sponsor today's video being Established Titles. So a lot of you know, I was just in Scotland. And while I couldn't stay in the country or take it with me, I wanted to get a piece of Scotland. So Established Titles is a project based on a historic custom where landowners are actually referred to lords, lords and ladies. Yes, so now officially, as per this proclamation, you can now call me Lord Joel. You can buy as little as one square foot of land and officially declare yourself a lord, a lady, or all the above. So established titles is committed to planting a tree with every order. It is a fun and novel way to help preserve the picturesque woodlands and biodiversity of Scotland while supporting global afforestation efforts. So the title pack gives you at least one square foot of land in Edelton, Scotland. And of course, an official certificate with a crest. You get a unique plot number and you can actually see where your plot is located. And they partner with global charities like Trees for the Future and One Tree Planted. So for every order, actually, one tree is planted. It makes a great last minute gift and there's actually plots that are like connected and located by each other. So if you and a partner or maybe a whole family wants to buy a big plot, you can do so. And the fun fact, where you can put Lord and Lady, you can put it on like your credit card bill, you can put it on a plane ticket. That's pretty funny. I'm gonna try that next time I go to the airport. So like I said, it makes an amazing last minute gift. Established Titus also told me the first 200 people to purchase a title pack using my link will effectively be next to my plot or within a few minutes walking distance so we can create our own little kingdom. And Established Titus is now running a great Labor Day sale. Plus, if you use code Hanson, you can actually save an additional 10% off. So go to establishedtitles.com forward slash Hanson and get your gifts now and help support the channel. All right, everyone, so here we are. We got some fried chicken here. Um, it looks really good actually. And then they have all the pizza and stuff up there, of course. Maybe a thumbnail? Anyway, so let's dive into this. I also got some green beans to start. They did have a small salad, and a gentleman told me, uh, like small salad bar as well. The gentleman told me that. Hmm, not bad. Now the dessert pizzas are where it's at. Like I said, we do have about an hour till close. They close at eight, so yeah. So might as well get eaten. Again, they do have a lot of pizzas, but while we're here mostly for the fried chicken, we'll have some pizza too. I mean, it's called Pizza Ranch after all. The, um, they also have ketchup, we have hot sauce, and they actually have, interestingly enough, a package of Heinz taco sauce, which I've never seen before. They're purple. And shout out the drinks. So drinks are included in the price. Again, it's about 15 bucks. So this piece is a little, uh, a little soggy. Hmm. You know what? That's actually good. It's very juicy. Very juicy. Pretty greasy, to be honest, also, but... Mmm. Wow. Real good salt on that, too. Mmm. I'm impressed. Let's try a breast. That rhymes. Still pretty juicy. A little less. Again, the other piece was like borderline greasy, but it is good. I'm, I don't know complaints. And then 
I like to eat my chicken with ketchup and hot sauce, which you're gonna have here. Let me know if you like to eat your chicken down below. The staff have been so far super friendly. And I only just took a seat. No problem at all, brother. It was a pleasure. Thank you, my man. Good luck. Yeah, man, like I said, if... Uh, Make sure to watch your videos and stuff, too. It's, it's an awful watch you, my man. I appreciate you, man. Thanks for saying hello, and uh, until next time. Until next time. Thanks, man. Nice to meet you. Always come say hello. You're never interrupted. Like I said, got some good chicken. I got lots more here, though, guys. Got five pieces to stir. Mmm. Those thighs are good. I do like thighs. I do like breasts, too. Chicken breast. If I was to describe the seasoning, it's pretty simple, but there's lots of salt in there. I'd say like a seasoning salt. A bit of a, um, a little bit of like a garlic with the onion. It's like a deep toned bro broasted, I think, chicken. Admittingly, it's not overly crispy by any means, but it still tastes good. Fried chicken. And of course, I had to get Pizza Ranch to try while we're in the area. Because it's only in the Midwest. Like the deep Midwest. I'm gonna get a little ketchup and hot sauce going. I prefer like a crystal or a more like Louisiana, generally. But Tabasco will definitely do. Ketchup and hot sauce mix. Very good. Again, very moist, this here. And they're a good sized piece of chicken. I don't feel like I'm just getting bones or anything. So let's go get round two. Alrighty, so round two going on. I did grab some more fried chicken, of course, got some thighs and some breasts. They did put more up since I was there. I'll have to grab some more. And I did get a couple slices of pizza to try. Ooh, why, that was a mishap. I just lost a piece of pizza. It went on the chair. I'll eat it anyway, I don't care. So we had a ham, and this is a uh, pepperoni. So you can also actually create your own pizza up there. You can like give them your toppings desired, they'll give them to you. So this is a very like thick crust. This is a more thinner crust. I'll try it. I mean... I'll try this one just to double check. Okay, so this one... It's thicker crust, it's a little bit like a Pizza Hut pizza, which is pretty good. I just say it's very comparable to Pizza Hut. It's not bad, pretty good. I dig some Pizza Hut with the pepperoni. That first piece with the ham on it, it would taste like a frozen pizza. I'll take these for you if I may. Am I interrupting your video? Not at all, you're totally good. No, thank you so much, you're totally fine. Never interrupting. This piece was super moist. So some of the fried chicken pieces, honestly, are like, I'm gonna use the term borderline greasy, but I will say when they're borderline greasy, man, are they ever rich and juicy. Rich, juicy, salty. This is a great big juicy breast. And this one again is borderline greasy. So I think it's gonna be good. We didn't have a breast so far that was borderline greasy. Let's try this. Mm. Oh yeah, guys. 
big succulent juicy breast. Woo, heck yeah. Admittingly, the center of this piece has a little bit of blood and red in it. So I'm not gonna eat any more of that piece because I don't wanna get sick. Um, it's probably fine, it could be the temp, but I do see a little bit of blood on the inside there, so I'm gonna leave that piece as is, and we'll just go grab some more. But it was very juicy and very good taste. All right, so I went and grabbed some more fried chicken. I got four pieces here. We got some thighs, some breasts. This is the first time we got a leg. And I was gonna grab a couple more pieces of pizza to give them the benefit of the doubt, try some diversity. <clears throat> Excuse me, comments of the chef, but Lady said they got some new ones coming out in about a minute or two. So I'm just gonna wait for those. I'll try the new ones, the fresh ones. I mean, everything's hot and hot, better hot and fresh, but I will say everything so far, there's been a good turnaround to like, nothing I've had is cold. It seems to be there's a good turnaround time on everything, which is always a nice thing at a buffet. Definitely an important time, which is actually why it's better often to go to buffets at busy periods. A lot of restaurants, I'd say, you don't have to go to the busiest times, but buffet is probably best to go at the busiest time, so let's try this leg. Mm. Super moist, super juicy. I got no complaints, guys. It's pretty dang good. Wow, look at this. This is super juicy, just dripping. Like I said, definitely quite a bit of sodium in this fried chicken, that's for sure. It's definitely on the saltier side of fried chicken. But, it tastes good. And it is really nice and juicy. Even steaming hot. All right, whew. Let's go for another round. All right, so I went and grabbed some more chicken. Got a breast, some thighs, or a thigh. And then I did grab a couple more piece of pizza. Like I said, they just brought them out. So I got three. I got a taco pizza, which is like onions, cheese, taco meat. There was some lettuce, tomatoes on it, kind of fell off. I have this piece with a thick crust with two tines of pepperoni, including the cup pepperoni. And I got this one, which I think is just like a standard deluxe. But all these just came out, so they're nice and hot. And like I said, that's the time to get it. Get rid of that. Yeah, you know, that's the time to try it while it's hot if you're gonna try it. So I'll try this deluxe pizza. Eh, I mean, olives. So that one again tastes like a frozen pizza. Try this one. Taco pizza. I like this. It tastes exactly like something you get like Taco Bell or something. I like that one. That's my favorite so far. It's just really different, but it tastes good. Try this pepperoni with the cup pepperoni and the regular pepperoni. Got crispy pepperoni on there. Pretty good. Like, uh, it's quite a doughy pizza, at least that slice was. Like I said, there's a different thickness of the crust. We do some thin crust up there. Filling up, guys, lots of fried chicken. And like I said, honestly, the pizza's not bad overall. Better than I, well, some of it's better than I expected. It was pretty good. Definitely reasonable. I mean, well worth the price. And the fried drinks good. They also have a uh, an arcade here. So you can occupy your kids while you eat. Ooh, another breast. And they do also have an ice cream machine here, a soft serve machine. So I have to try that. I think we're gonna try out some of the desserts pretty soon. I'm filling up pretty good. A lot of fried chicken. They have a whole, different, a whole bunch of different kinds of dessert pizzas. Including like apple. One looked like blueberry. 
One looks strawberry, and some brownies. We'll get some more. I went and grabbed Woo. some more fried chicken. I got some more green beans. We are running out of time. So like I said, after this, I think we're gonna go change over to desserts. Again, they have apple, blueberry. Woo. This stuff is fresh. It is steaming, steaming hot. Oh man, yeah, this one is steaming. What am I complaining about? I'll let it cool down. Some green beans. All right, and uh, like I said, they hit some dessert. I got all the desserts they had. They had the, I believe this is the apple pizza. This looks like the blueberry pizza, so a thicker crust. And then they had a cookie. I give it a shot. Woo! Try this apple pizza. Mm. I don't know, well, I don't know if it's apple. It might be like cinnamon. I call it cinnamon bun. Just like cinnamon bun. Very good. Now icing on top. Pretty good. I do like a dessert pizza. Woo! That blueberry is very sweet. Not bad. Very like. I don't know if this makes sense, but I got like fake canned blueberry flavor. Not bad. Very doughy. Try this cookie. Honestly, that's pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. They had no more desserts pizza left, just the one. It is 7.52. Hmm. This is the best one though. So let me see if I can get them to do one more. Maybe before they close. But I was got some ice cream. And I tried it on my way over. It's super creamy. Like, ain't no icy sausage. And very, very, very rich, creamy. Thick soft. This is like real ice cream. That's good, that dessert pizza. Mm. Warm in the cold. Really good combo, and very good ice cream. Impressive. I'm gonna try to think of what ice cream this reminds me of though. Like I said, super rich and creamy. It's impressive. Alrighty, Ron, so unfortunately I went and asked. There's no more dessert pizzas to be had, which is unfortunate. I would have loved to have had one more of that cinnamon one. When I asked them, it was 7.55, so I just went and grabbed some fat ice creams instead. Whew. I'll say though, again, obviously this ice cream is cold, but that last one really cooled me off. It got really cold all of a sudden. That was our experience at Pizza Ranch, a Midwest classic. 
Definitely no shortage of fried chicken. That was great. The pizzas honestly weren't bad. The ice cream's really good. But I really wish we could have got a couple more dessert pizza slices in. I really like that one. Like you said, that uh, cinnamon -y one with the crustiness on it. If you know what exactly what it's called, comment down below. That's about that. They do have a, a little more of a salad bar. Um, I didn't really get into it. Just like I said, I already ate today. But, um, yeah, they also had some stuffing, some mashed potatoes, some gravy, which we didn't try. They also had some noodles and sauce separated, which you could also make like a pasta. That was pretty much it. There's some corn as well. Wow, I'm cold. But, uh, yeah, what about that? So, guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Live in the Midwest, Pizza Ranch ain't bad. It really ain't bad. Solid, well worth the price, in my opinion, and lunch is even cheaper. And I think it's the same variety, if I'm not mistaken. So until next time, everybody. Let me know your favorite item that we either ate or at Pizza Ranch down below. I hope you have a lovely day. First, say happy, hungry, happy eating. Even if it's a buffet, you don't have to come eat like this. But I will say, I mean, all you can eat is fried chicken. That's a steal. Pizza too. And uh, the drinks. And the drinks included, which is super impressive. That's it. That's all my words. So I'm finish this up. And that everybody, I appreciate you. Like the video, comment, subscribe. Till next time, have a lovely day. Give you that there, sir. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. It's like a. Um... Pardon me? Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, no, you're totally good, my friend. Yeah, it's very. Um, it's like. Yeah, sure. Thanks so much. Yeah, perfect. Thank you, sir. Oh, try to make them not fall. There you go, thank you. Hey, guess what? You rock, yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And with that, thank you so much, you rock.